do this. All right, so if you look on the Google Classroom uh, assignments, I gave, uh, let's see, I gave credit to everybody who finished their presentation yesterday. I'm sorry, to everybody who, yes, to everybody who finished their presentation yesterday or has uh, finished their, uh, who has added their slide to the stream. Uh, let me know if uh, I missed you in any capacity. I'm gonna go into that right now. So let's see, just for that particular assignment. Let's see, here we go. We got, uh, let's see, yeah, Tatiana. Oh, I missed uh, Andre there. He did it. So uh, Alejandro, did you add a uh, slide? No, Alejandro, I, I thought Alejandro was here for a moment. Nope, never mind. Okay, so Ana Maria, Erica, Ilse. Ilse, you added a slide. I want to go through this. Yes, you completed that in class yesterday. Good. Um, Silvana did complete that yesterday. Good job. And she also presented it. Oh, here comes Alejandro. And here comes Monica. I say, I, I say Alejandro's name and he comes in. Alejandro, Sorry. my friend, Teacher. how are you, sir? Oh, I was good. just talking I, about you. I, I forgot, was, did I, you? I was about to answer and I don't know how I <laughs> just finished no the problem. call. No problem. Did you uh, did you complete your slide yesterday in class? Yes, sir. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Alejandro, you're good. And uh, da, 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 I'm just going over everybody who still needs to finish. Alejandro, where did you go? There you are, sir. Yes, so you're good. Alejandro's good for that one. Nice job. And see if I'm missing anyone. So Marie Boisrand, you finished your slide, but we need to get the video working, correct? Marie? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go into yours. Here we go, you just need to get the video working. Here we go. Let's find Marie's and help her out. Here we go. Marie, do you know, do you remember which song, uh, which? Uh, yeah, uh, um, basically I, I said one, was? I said one, but last night I, I work on another one. Wait, wait, I mean, I, I do you know which number is your I slide? I also number? have two. <laughs> but which but the number? First one say yes the second one is about um um mika ben no, no. Marie, Marie, do you do you see this well i'm showing you i don't see you here oh the last the oh yes 22 oh, this one oh you know what okay so here's 22. what you forgot no 22. 22 okay perfect beautiful beautiful okay no problem okay so i'll show you i'll help you out adding the video there we go beautiful marie so you're gonna teach us a little Creole this morning? Yeah. Beautiful. Whoop. Cleo Maine, did you have a question? Was I heard Cleo Maine's voice. Did you have a question, sir? That's why you do it. Oh uh, yeah, this is how you do it. That's it. You copy. This is exactly how I demonstrated in class. Copy, paste, I'm gonna copy it up here. That's how you do it. So you go to video. You go, you go to, to video. Ins insert the YouTube link, boom. That's it. Just the way we practiced in class, boom. So that's why we go over it. There we are. Now to make it the words easier to read, I'm gonna move that in there. I'll erase uh -huh. that. Clean it up a little bit, but we still need to uh, make this a little more clear for you. Okay, that's better. There you go. All set, Marie. You're good to go. Oh, wow. Thank you. So <laughs> there you are. See, teamwork, teamwork. All right. So. The last one. 
That's me. Okay, the last one. What's it? Uh, yes, Cleo, man, I hear you. What you need, buddy? I um, Cleo, man, you, uh, I think you need to adjust your microphone. I, I can't hear you clearly. Maybe yes, text. Yes, I, um, okay. I put my hand in the classroom, I don't know. Which number, sir? Which Say number? Yes, have I. That's, yes, that's I do. I, Jefferson. That's number 23. Okay, 23 is Jeff Jefferson. Uh, Cleo, man, tell me which number you are. Uh, Cleo, man, uh, t write it in the chat, Cleo, man, because there's an issue with your microphone. All right. So Jefferson is good to go. Marie is good to go. Uh, do we have a volunteer to uh, present first? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Jefferson, this is you? Yes. Okay. Well, tell me what's missing. There's two things missing here. And if, and if you need help, who can help Jefferson? Okay. Okay. Who can help you, Jefferson? There's two things missing. Yeah. The name. His name. Right. Your name. I don't know. I have no idea. It's you. <laughs> yeah. And what else? And the, the, and the link. Right. The video. Right. Do you want to the insert video. the video so we can listen to it? Right. 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 All right. So Jefferson, you can take care of that right now. And uh, Marie, would you like to present yours while Jefferson yeah, sure. takes care of his? Beautiful. Thank you, Marie. Okay, so just like yesterday, uh, Marie, you can tell us the story of the song. <clears throat> I love that you put uh, and you put the words in uh, Haitian Creole on the left, and you could you could tell us what a few of the words mean. So you, you're going to be the teacher for the next two or three minutes. Uh, uh, so uh, Professor I'm like, Marie, I'm going to do this number because I'm in the classroom. Okay, um, hang on one second, Cleo man. Marie is going to present right now. Marie, are you? You ready? Yes, sure. Okay. Please begin, Marie. Okay. Everybody else, um, please mute yourself. Okay. This is a beautiful Haitian Creole song. Um, the title of the song is Haiti Say. In English, is this is um, Haiti, Haiti is. Like 80 E's. Um, the song is written by Michael Michael Benjamin. He has like a, um, another name is like a surname or like, um, just another name they call him Ma Mika Ben. Um, um, is a son of a, a, a popular, a famous singer in Haiti. Um, let me just read the song in Creole for those who speak Creole, and then I will. I, I'm not going to um, translate word by word the song, but I'm gonna give you a a, a large, a big idea about what he wants to tell us about um, in this song. Haïti, c'est belle la mer, c'est belle montagne avec belle rivière, c'est belle plage avec pied cocoyer. Bel paysage avec belle couleur, Haïti, c'est belle sans café, nan aime le matin. Haïti, c'est bas semblé, cascade pichon avec sodo, c'est Acadien, la, la citadelle, c'est la badi ak Marigou. Um, Mika, 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 um, Mike, Michael, he used um, to write about um, the, beauty, the beauty of Haiti. Um, he's talking about what, what is described, the, um, what Haiti is, what we have as um, what the um what the country has like um sometimes when they heard about Haiti because right now um re recently we heard about the death of our uh, our president and we know that the country is in politically inst there's a lot of 
insecurity and a lot of kidnapping in Haiti. And we know it's a people who don't know Haiti, who never know knew Haiti in the past, um, has a bad idea about Haiti. They know that Haiti is a bad country. The people um, don't know the history of that country, never knew about Haiti, don't, don't want to learn about Haiti. So Mika Ben paint another color of Haiti. He let us know Haiti has good beach. Haiti, even though you've heard bad things, bad, even though Haiti has insecurity right now, but Haiti has good beach. Haiti has good um, mountain, mountain. We can go up. We can um, may, um, we can like we can visit. Even you cannot visit right now. But there's a lot of beautiful places exist in Haiti. You can go there one day. Maybe you can visit, but they physically exist. So. We in the past we used to um, send over the world coffee. We got good coffee. I know in America. Um, I I I remember we we learned um, the teach, teach um, a lesson about that. Uh, American people love coffee. A lot of coffee from Brazil, another country, but Haiti, we are rich in coffee. We have good coffee too. So he talked about that um, every morning when he wake up, he smell the coffee, um, that smell that's like appropriate to the, to the country because we have a lot and we used to drink coffee too. And then he talk about he like he mentioned a lot of um places um um that um that that um we can say that there are touristic places in Haiti like Bassemble, um Cascade Pichon, Sodo, uh, Las um uh, La Citadel. They are the glorious places in Haiti. The each places. He just talked about, he mentioned they had an history, a past history, a glorious history behind them. And each Asian people can be very proud of that. So All that's right. the history. Fantastic. So that's the Haitian, that's, <laughs> that's the Asian people. Thank so, you so much, Marie. Thank you. I'm sorry, sorry to cut yeah. you off there, but I, we have uh, a yeah. few. We just, I was just thinking about time for the rest of the class. And I know I was, this is what happens, everybody, when you get busy and you're, you're with work and you, and you miss a few classes, you have all this English inside you that needs to release. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have to learn more about it than you. <laughs> no, 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 you, because I only asked everybody to share two minutes. You already went six minutes, but I know you have so much to say. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. I just had to cut you off there. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's listen to this wonderful song. <laughs> So yes, everybody remembers, this will happen to you when you miss too many classes, the English will build up inside you and you will explode. So yes, don't, <laughs> just remember to let that English out from time to time. Okay, I'm going to stop recording because uh, it won't, I won't be able to play it on YouTube. So I'm gonna stop recording and we'll listen to this beautiful song together. Here we go. It's a, it's a, it's a summer song. Uh, it's like when you wanna go to hang out with your friends and like you choose what to do that day. So this is the chorus of the song and it's a pretty cool song for me. I really like this song. Cool. Is it, is this the, is the song in English or is it? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. we're writing down for the bar. All right. Sounds and that's good. All. Does it remind you of a certain time in your life? No, no, it's okay. not. It's not a reminder of my life, but it's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's listen. So, good job, Alejandro. And whoops, what's happening here? Hold on a second.
All right, we're back. So we could hear from uh, Ilse. Uh, hey. Yesterday we heard from Silvana, we heard from Glaucian. Uh, we heard from, so we can definitely hear from Ilse. Okay. And uh, Norexi couldn't make it today. Who else were we missing? Erica, do we have Erica today? Erica didn't share yesterday. Uh, Ana Maria can't make it today. But Ide couldn't make it. And uh, Carlos, did we hear the song yesterday? No, so Carlos. So um, yes, Ilse and Carlos, I think I think it's Ilse and Carlos are the only ones left. Who uh, who wants to go first, Ilse or Carlos? Mm. Ilse, okay. Yes. Also taking us, uh, you're also giving us a 1980s throwback. Here we go. <laughs> Madonna. All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, tell us, tell us everything. Maybe okay. you've probably heard this song before. <laughs> La Isla Bonita, the beautiful island in English, is a song written and produced by Madonna. The lyrics talk about a tropical paradise named San Pedro. According to Madonna, the song is a tribute to the beauty and mystery of the Latin American people. In the island, she meets someone and she falls in love. Many people think that she talks about the beautiful island on, uh, or of San Pedro, Belize. Mm -hmm. Belize is a Carib Caribbean country. It borders with Mexico and Guatemala, my country. <laughs> mm, yeah. I, ha I have been listening to this song since I was a child. And it was and it's one of my favorite favorite songs of all the time. Well, you said Belize. Belize. Belize? Mm -hmm. How could it be Belize? Because it's talking about an island. Excuse me. Are you? Whoops! I'm sorry. You you were talking about the country Belize in Central America. Yes, Belize is borders with uh, right. Mexico and Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the song is about an island, the beautiful yes, island. Yes, an, an island in Belize, San Pedro. Oh, so it's an island just off the coast of Belize. Uh huh. Okay, now I understand. Okay. All right, no problem. When you were saying there's an island, I was like, no, 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 it's landlocked. We're talking about okay. Uh, let's see, where are we? And even if you don't think you've heard the song before, you probably have. Let me pause the recording. Yeah. Okay, so she's dressed up like a flamenco dancer. She's really far from Spain. Uh, I know there are, flamenco dancing is popular in a few other places, but uh, is it popular in Belize, Elsie? Yes, because uh, it, it is because uh, Spain, um, Guatemala, and Central America was uh, governed with Spain, and then uh, they 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 were free. No, not oh, you mean yeah. I mean, we know that they were colonized, but I'm talking about the flamenco dancing. She's dressed up like a flamenco dancer. Is that is flamenco dancing really popular in Belize? In Belize, I don't have idea because I am. That's the dancing where somebody. they they move they they stomp <laughs> their feet. They stomp their feet. It's like it's almost like African step dancing. Yes, the video but it's is like, like a mix like, of, yeah. the, of the culture. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think. I think she was she kind of missed the mark here, but it's okay. You could get away with a lot of that sort of thing in the eighties. All right, thank you so much, Ilse. Okay, so that's your whole your new your research project. Uh, why did she choose to dress up like a flamenco dancer if she's talking about being in an island in the Caribbean <laughs> where nobody does flamenco dancing? Okay, <laughs> or do they? Let's figure it out later. All right, thank you so much, Ilse. All right. Now we just got to hear from Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. There we are. 
I'm gonna say, yeah. There we are. Okay. Tell us Teacher. everything about the song, Carlos. Teacher, I think that I didn't follow. I didn't follow the the instruction very well because I made my my own song. Okay. So, you mean I, this is you? No, the I'm video. Scared. I I choose the video. <laughs> I choose. <laughs> I choose the video because the video shows a lot of beautiful places from from Long Island, but I didn't want the video too. That's uh, okay. I made this song because this island is is so special for me because uh, there live almost all my family, and we and we go there almost all day the summers to spend time with the with them. You're talking about um, Long Island in New York? Yeah. Okay. What um, part of Long Island? What? What part of Long Island? All the, all oh, the way I to the remember, end? Like, uh, I don't remember. Mon the, Montauk, like the very end, or like just, just like no, no, Stony in the, Brook in the beginning? In the middle. In the middle. In the middle, okay. Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember the main very well right now. Uh, okay. Yes, I don't remember. Cool. Now we know. Resident New Yorker. Here we go. So let's hear, <laughs> let's listen to Carlos's. Very good. Okay, so we got Jefferson, we got Cleo Main. Uh, Natalia, did you also finish yours? Oh, uh, that's a no, but we got Jefferson, we got Cleo Man. So Natalia, let us know if you finish yours, okay? Here we go. So we'll start with Jefferson. Okay, Jefferson, tell us about this song and begin, sir. Okay. Yeah, the, the song is called Karma. They came with Pedro Capo and Farruko. Mm -hmm. The song is talking about be chilling on the beach with your friends the family, uh, drink some beer, you know, enjoy the weather. The last part they say, you don't need too much to be happy. And this song, remember me, like three years ago, we went to Puerto Rico. The song was made with Puerto Ricans. And we'd be with me and my friends there. And we, we had a, a really good time. And that time the, the song was on the peak on the top. Uh, yeah, we listen a lot of time to them. And yeah, it was good. You know, be in the summer, be on the beach, enjoy the weather. All right. Sounds good, sounds good. I'll stop recording and we'll play. Into the, the that place where, where they made the, the video. It was called where, Isla Verde. Where in Puerto Rico is that? that is Isla video? Verde. Isla Verde. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I like the beat. Good harmony. Very nice. Sounds like summertime to me. Okay. Me and too. we got an American so artist. So Childish Gambino here. And Cleo Main, tell us why you chose this song. Please Cleo Main, showtime. Uh-oh, let's get Cleo Man to come back. I know he didn't go too far. Hold on a second. Cleo Man. I'm going to call our friend Cleo Man. Yes, I'm here. Okay, there we go. Showtime, Cleo Main. Yeah. Showtime. Tell us everything. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I thought you ran away. Where'd you go, man? <laughs> okay. I, uh, yeah, we're going to wait for you. Okay, your turn, Cleo Main. Tell us everything about the song. Okay. I feel like so mad, son. You can feel it's, it's the, the sweet. On, on a day like this, 
the heart. I feel like summer, summer. She, she feel like summer. This, this feel like summer. I feel like summer sun. All right. I'm recording here. Uh, Ilse, tell us what Glaucian just said, because she was absolutely correct. I, I understand that if you have a EBT card, you have a discount to enter uh, some organization. Yes, exactly. And it's not just an EBT card, it's several cards. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to identify all of these different resources that you can use as local people to visit great places either at a discount or free. Here we go. All right. So we were looking at where you live. You want to be familiar with where you live. Are you in the central part of the state? Are you in the greater Boston area? Are you south of Boston, north of Boston? Where are you? To access the Mass Cards to Culture program, you want to have one or more of these. Let's start with this one on the left. Who can tell me what is this? Those of you who have kids should know exactly what this is. Teacher, maybe I think that the card is to, to receive help for food. Yes, it's related to food. When you so, are a student. Mm -hmm. Yes. So EBT is electronic benefits transfer. It's also known as food stamps. Um, <clears throat> they used to be physical stamps. Now, you could do that with your DTA card. That's the Department of Transitional Assistance that has multiple functions. Or you could uh, use your um, EBT card, whichever one is. PEBT is a little different. Who knows what the P is? It's fairly new in the last two years. Marie, you've got kids. You probably know what this is. Pandemic. Yes. Yes. Who said pandemic? Ilse. Ilse. Very good. Very good. So pandemic EBT. So yes. Um, during the uh, worst of the pandemic, when schools were closed, the government issued these cards to families whose kids get free or reduced lunches at school because kids were suddenly home and parents had to, you know, uh, yeah. increase the food cost. So the cards uh, are still in use. Sometimes the government will put money on the card. Sometimes. It, two months ago. Um, right. Two months ago, um, mm -hmm. the government issued, put in a little bit more money. But you can still use it for places that accept it for a discount. Pandemic EBT or your DTA card or your EBT card. So that's food services. Yeah. You could tell me yeah. what it is. Yes, Marie. Sometimes, I don't know if it's um, for everybody, but if you have a DTA, they just put the money, they just increase the money, they are, um, they are, the amount they give you on your DTA card, Correct. they Correct. give you a PBET. Correct, that's, what I, that's exactly what I just said. Uh, your DTA card works as an EBT card. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is Department of Transitional Assistance, and this is Electronic Benefits Transfer. And this one is Pandemic Electronic Benefits yeah. Transfer. So yes, that is correct, Marie. Who knows mm -hmm. what this one in the middle is? Who could tell us what this means? A week. A week program yeah. is when you have a baby, like when you have kids from zero to um, be below five years. <laughs> That's right. Excellent. Yeah. So yes. They, they, they provide you um food 
for the kids, healthy food for the kids. Yeah, meal. I mean, this is and they, with the W. What is WIC? Uh, women, infants, and children. Know. Women, women, infants, and children. And children. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So yes, the WIC card is also good for these discounts. So maybe you don't have a EBT. Maybe you've got no kids, so you don't have the PEBT or the WIC card. What about this one? You could tell me what this is. Myself. Mass Mass health. Health. Let's let's get someone else. You you work as a meta, you work in healthcare, so let's let's give someone else a chance. Marie Marie knows all the answers. Who could tell us what is Mass Health? Okay. Uh, Alejandro, Carlos, Monica, Enrique, uh, Jorge, anybody? Teacher, the Mass Health is is a health insurance, but Correct. here in Massachusetts, um, it's like a law for law. Um, if you don't have the enough resources, uh, you can have a benefit or have access to free health here in Massachusetts if you live here. This is the equivalent from the federal level. This is the equivalent of Medicaid. Medicaid is insurance for people who cannot afford insurance. <clears throat> Mass Health has its own uh, statewide level of Medicaid. So it is, uh, it is <clears throat> discounted health insurance, or in some cases, free health insurance. There's Math, Math Health Standard, Mass Health, Mass Health Plus, and numerous varieties of it. I'm not going to get into that, but that's what it is. It's, it's a statewide version of Medicaid. Uh, all of these programs really are, are the evolution of President Lyndon Johnson's Great Society program. Uh, before the 1960s, there was no Medicaid. There was no um, EBT or food stamps as it was known in the early days. There was no WIC. So if you didn't have money, uh, you were on your own. Uh, this is all the late 1960s President Lyndon Johnson created these programs that are still in existence today. And this uh, would really be the champion of uh, somebody like Thomas Paine or Horace Mann, uh, early founders of this country. And every one of you, if you're rich or poor, whoever you are, should have one of these. Who could tell me what is that? Library? Library. Library. The library card. Yeah. Every one of you, by the time you get to level six, you should have a library card. Is there anyone who does not have a library card right now? I don't have. I don't have. Today. Today. I don't, have today. I don't. I don't care if you leave this class right now, go get a library card today. Today. <laughs> I need to apply. How, teacher? Now, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> when I see you next week, you have to have a library card. That's, there's no excuses. No excuses. But Get teacher, how card. can we take the, the, the card? How how is the process or where? I'm gonna show you everything. You go to okay. the library and you give them a proof of address. Your ID and your proof of address, or you can do it online. Even better online. That's it. Get a library card. So I'm going to mute somebody. Here we go. And those of you, you can who take are having the trouble, free book or what? Oh yeah, but <clears throat> that's what a library is. Yeah, <clears throat> but okay. there's more than books. More than books. I'm going to show you exactly. Uh, a lot more than books. Uh, those of you who are having computer troubles, you can borrow computers at the library. So. The library is something you need to be taking advantage of, no matter who you are. All right. It's there for you to use. Yeah. So uh, how we can use these in terms of Massachusetts cards to culture? Well, let's take a look at the assignment. When you go, I just posted this a moment ago on Google Classroom. Brand new assignment. Here we go. Okay, so every one of you has this in your Google Classroom. All right, 
Uh, who wants to read? Anybody? Ilse, Jefferson, Carlos. Jorge, go for it. Go for it. It says, uh, get to know the culture, the cultural, cultural. Yeah, cultural institutions around the greater Boston area. Good. Read the information attached and plan a trip this summer accessing a free or discounted service. Yes. So you are going to create your own field trip. Here we go. First, you um, click. Now, some of you who are trouble, having trouble following directions with um, Ashley's assignment in a Google Doc, this is the same thing. Google Doc, you open the assignment and you fill out, you answer the questions and fill it out. Here we go. Open the document. Everyone has exactly the same document. Okay. Uh, first up, uh, Jorge, you want to keep going? Sure. Um, study the information in this link. Mass card to culture. Uh, plan a trip this summer, accessing a free or discounted service to a cultural institution in the greater uh, Boston area. Please answer each question in complete sentences, 25 six words. Beautiful. So what does this mean? Answer each question in complete sentences. Yeah. It means answer each question in complete sentences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't mean Turn just turn it in blank and say <laughs> and say teacher what you want me to it doesn't mean turn it in completely blank and say teacher what you want me to do it means answer each question in complete sentences that's what it means so which discounted service will you use now that's where you go back here there's so many hundreds many 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 that's why you take your time figure out where you want to go and how will you get there how will you get there from where you live? That's why I went to the satellite. So let's say uh, I live in Lynn, or maybe I live in Saugus, or maybe I live on Mars. No, uh, let's say maybe I live up in, um, I don't know, Peabody. Maybe I live down here, yeah. here where I am in Quincy. Actually, you feel me in there? Okay. So where figure out where you live, because a lot of students really aren't familiar with where they live. They just know I live in the blue house and I go to buy my groceries over there. They don't know exactly where they are, north, south, east, west. So this is a great exercise to get students to know where they are. And once you get familiar with where you are, if you are north of Boston, if you are south of Boston, west of Boston, wherever you live, figure out where you want to go using this resource. So this is a link I embedded into the Google Drive. Let's see where it takes us. Okay, EBT, Card to Culture Organizations, all right. Let's get another volunteer reader for this part. And I'll make it nice and big so everybody can see it. Yes. EBT Corp to cultural organizations find free and discounted admissions to many of the Commonwealth museums and cultural institutions. The, the Department of Transitional Assistance DTA has partnered with Mass Cultural Council to offer free and discounted admissions to many of the Commonwealth Museum and Cultural Institutions for the EBT Core to Culture Program. Excellent. Um, Sorry. Let, let's uh, no. I just said excellent job. Would anybody else? You're you're reading beautifully, Maria. Would anybody else like to practice? Do some reading. Yeah. Uh, who else wants to practice? Me, teacher. Go for it, Glaucia. Uh, residents who receive DTA benefits can get discounted admission by showing the EBT card. Drug twenty twenty two. These organizations are also accepting. 
PEBT cards. Read yeah, yeah. these frequently asked questions for more information. Beautiful. And uh, anybody else want to read this last part? Below is a list of organizations participating in the Cards to Culture program. And then it just says notice hours of service differ due to uh, COVID-19 protocol. And this is through the end of the year. This was a program started by uh, Governor Baker, who's now uh, working in Washington. It's a great program. I've taken my family to many, many places, free or reduced price because of this program. And I encourage you to do the same. So now we got to know where we live. So uh, for instance, if you live in Cape Cod, is it a good idea to visit a museum in Pittsfield, Western Massachusetts? No, that's think... going to be a four hour drive. Yeah. So that's why I want everybody to get their geography straight. So if you live out here in Cape Cod, that's the very tip of the state, kind of like this. You don't want to plan a trip to Springfield or to Pittsfield. You're almost in upstate New York. You're going to be driving all day long and lose all your money with the gas. <laughs> so that's why you want to know where you live. So if you live in Worcester, central Massachusetts, maybe you don't want to go all the way in to Boston Find and to go to the aquarium. Find places in the central region where you live around here because there's a lot so that's why we want to learn the geography of where we live and that's what we're going to practice right now here we go all right central greater boston region metro west northeast southeast west all right little geography okay I'm gonna ask everybody where they live and ask you if it's central, greater Boston, Metro West, Northeast. So this is geography. Which way is this way am I pointing? That's a joke, okay. So here we go. Uh, Glaucian, we already went to Weymouth, our neighborhood in the south. Oh, where, where, uh, where do we live? Are I think it's southwest. Boston, south of Boston. I, yes, I, not southwest, southeast, southeast southeast. Region. southeast. Right. There you go. So let's take a look. And it's not too far from Boston. It's about half an hour into Boston, 20 minutes, half an hour into Boston, the greater Boston. So not, we're not way, way south like Taunton, but we're, we're in the southeast region. So let's look at places near us. So if I am Glaucian, <clears throat> I have a lot of opportunities. Here we go. Arts Foundation Cape Cod, Battleship Cove, $3 per person, up to two adults and children. This is in uh, Fall River, not too far from us. Uh, a zoo, Buttonwood Park Zoo. That's in New Bedford, Massachusetts. That's, uh, that's close to uh, Providence, almost in Rhode Island. Uh, Cahoon Museum of American Art, that's the Southeast region, Cape Cod Children's Museum. And we can keep going. Eastern Children's Museum, Children's Museum of Greater Fall River, Daniel Webster Wildlife Sh Sanctuary in Marshfield. Marshfield's very close to you. Have you ever been to Marshfield, Glaucian? Yes, yes. Yeah, so all of these places you can visit. Uh, let's get, so now that we have vis looked at the southeast region, let's find a different area. Um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to call in a random person. Uh, Alejandro, where do you live, my friend? Yeah. Sorry, I live in East Boston. East Boston. So that's that could be, you could say, the greater Boston area. Yes, sir. All right. So let's take a look at the greater Boston area. 
All right. So we have a lot of uh, plays. We have a lot of. Uh, okay, I just muted Sobata. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a lot of uh, theater. Alejandro, do you like theater, dance, music, that sort of thing, live performance? Yeah. Yes, sir. There's a lot of Teacher, I'm in here. Boston sorry, but I have it's bad okay. internet. No, no, I was muting you because you were, I could, <laughs> I, I just said I had to mute you for a minute. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> so, right here, there's $5 tickets to a lot of shows. So, definitely something you could check out. And everybody else who lives uh, near Alejandro. Anybody who lives near Alejandro, you could uh, call them after class. Hey, you want to come see a show with me? Let's do that. Great ideas. American Heritage Museums, uh, Wildlife Sanctuary, walking tours if you're into history, lots and lots of <clears throat> resources. So get to know all of these resources on your own. Now, let's go back. Does anybody live in the Northeast region? Um, teacher, mm -hmm. I'm living out of Boston, like so. Uh, I'm living in, in New York. Randolph, right? It's it's like suburban of Boston. Well, is it north of Boston, south of Boston, east or west? I know I know where you live, but I'm asking yeah. you, which way? South of Boston, north of Boston. Let me see. It's Randolph, right? Like south of Boston. Yes, yes. So you're still in the South Shore. Your your neighbors, you're you're around Brockton and Braintree and Weymouth. Wait, so you wait. you are you're right around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, you're right around. There you are. See, look how close. Did you know you were Glaucian's neighbor and my neighbor? Look at this. Yeah, I know because you are in Quincy, right? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm over mm -hmm. here. And uh, uh, Glaucine is over here, and you're just right over there. There you are. OK. <laughs> Can you see your house? Yeah. Somewhere around there. <laughs> so you are uh, 10 minute drive. What's that, Cleo, man? 10 minute drive. Uh, where do you live, Cleo, man? Uh, Matapan. Mattapan. Okay, so that would also yeah. be you. You're near Alejandro. Well, not really. Uh, you're you're still Greater Boston region. Yeah. So yeah, you're Greater Boston. So Mattapan, not too not far from the headquarters in JP. Great, that's Greater Boston region. Um, anybody live far, far away? Central Mass, Western Mass, all the way out in Cape Cod. Anybody here not know where they live? It's okay. So <clears throat> once you, <clears throat> let's see, uh, you just, once you figure out where you live, look at Central, Greater Boston Region, Metro West, Northeast, Southeast, Western Region, all the way out to Pittsfield, New York, up, upstate New York. <clears throat> all of these different places have different um, museums and theaters and fantastic places to visit. But this is where it gets really tricky. You don't just walk up with a, your EBT card or your mass health card and say, let me in. What do you have to do first? To the museum. What do you have to do first? Are you, the, you have to go online and buy a ticket? Yes, you have to reserve a ticket to each one first. Mm -hmm. And this is where it gets complicated. And this is where uh, you have to really use those English skills. Uh, Watch this. So here is uh, my local library. Here is the New England Aquarium. Here is the Children's Museum. Now I'm gonna show you the Children's Museum first. A uh, children's museum has a uh, $1 admission on Sunday, but maybe you can't make it on Sunday. What can you do? If you have, let's, you got to go to the website and you got to read their policies. The tickets are, you, full price is very, very expensive. You see a lot of tourists who are willing to pay $40, $50 to go in there. We're local people. We don't need to do that. Let's 
see how we can make it a little bit cheaper. All right. So there it is. Sunday afternoons, one dollar. Pretty nice. But what if you can't make it Sunday? And it's very crowded on Sunday. You have library coupons. I'll show you how to do that. And here we are. I'm going to circle. When you go to their website, what's that? That sweet. Yeah. If you have an EBT or a WIC card. Uh -huh. So any <clears throat> EBT or a WIC card, you only pay. Two dollars. That's pretty person. nice. That's pretty good, right? Uh -huh. So let's say, uh, Marie, when do you have a day off? Um. Friday and Sunday. Beautiful. Would you like to take your kids Friday or, well, Sunday is already $1, so you don't need to worry about that. But let's say you want to take your kids on Friday. How do we do that? Let's go to reservations. And then we look at discounted programs. And then we go down here. You see how it says purchase EBT WIC for Wonder Fund admission. There we go. So we go to first select date and time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wish somebody just muted themselves there. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, so we have, uh, let's see, tomorrow. Tomorrow they have, they have availability, by the way. If anybody wants to make a reservation for tomorrow. All right, you have morning tickets and afternoon tickets. So if you want to go tomorrow afternoon, you open this up. Where exactly? The, did you see what I did? Go to the schedule. Yeah. Okay. For, uh, you want to do Friday, mm -hmm. tomorrow, go to the schedule. Yeah. Do tomorrow morning, afternoon, whatever. Afternoon. Doesn't matter. Uh -huh. It's coming in from Randolph. If you want some time, you don't want to get there at nine in the morning. Um, I know you have little, little kids. You're not going to get there at nine o'clock. Um, uh -huh. $2 EBT time ticket. Sounds good to me. And if you have a EBT or a WIC card, one or the other, and I think EBT they're better. okay with... I have my gun. My, my son has... Um, Six years old right now. Okay. Easy. So yeah, e EBT, whatever it is. Uh, uh -huh. You click right here, $2. Uh -huh. One, two, however many, however many you want. So this says EBT time ticket, WIC time ticket. Either uh -huh. one. If you're using the WIC card, using the EBT card, doesn't matter. Just okay. click it. And it's almost like using Amazon. So let's say I want to make a re reservation using this. I get, is it just, would it just be two people, three people? Uh -huh. So two people. All right. People. Add to cart. Okay. Four. All right. We'll do four. Uh -huh. Okay. The maximum is four. Uh -huh. All right. So there we go. Well, let's add to so four people, $2 each. It's going to be $8 for all four of you. That's not bad. Uh -huh. And then... It'll ask you, they'll, they do charge a three, they, they, they charge $3 to process it, but that's not the end of the world. It's a lot better than paying $50. <laughs> uh, and then you, you know, you basically, that's it. You just go to check out and then you put in your uh, credit card number or your bank account, wh however you're going to pay. That's it. So that's it. You can go to the children's museum for $2 per person plus the $3 uh, plus the $3 transfer fee. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you save money using your English. Uh -huh. So what about the, who wants to go to the aquarium? Oh. Silvana, Silvana. Hi, teacher. S same thing. They have a lot of discounts at the aquarium. If you're a teacher, you can get in with your teacher ID. If you're in the military, you can use a military pass. They have library coupons, Wiki, BT. Uh, if you have your MBTA pass, the Charlie card, 
or if you're a triple a member any one of those will get you a discount but let's try the same thing so sabana uh let's you can do this one let's click here it's a little bit harder to read i'll make it bigger so Bana, how many people would you like to go to the aquarium with two please two okay so walk me through this let's do it together i'm going to highlight let me know if you can read it if not i'll make it bigger yes okay tell us what it says uh, do you want that i read yes please so we can all learn together Give me one second because I'm in, in, in the cell phone and I need books. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll say, well, click here to search available tickets. Right here. Click okay. here. Yes, click so here to search available. for available tickets. Make a reservation mm -hmm. for your answer, for your visit. Right. <laughs> there it is. So let's see what's available. And this is for the WikiBT. It says okay. right here. Please be prepared to present your EBT or WIC card. And they're a little more strict than the Children's Museum. They'll say, when you go in, they'll say, okay, now show me your card. So you got to bring it. Okay. Um, all right. Teacher, Let's I have a available. question. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have um, a student carnet. Because uh, for, so, for a lot. There's nothing, nothing to do with the student card. No, it's, it's because it's because in a lot of places, uh, they ask ask for us for this uh, for that uh, for discounts. Well, that's true, but that's nothing to do with what we're doing right now. We're using the cards, the Massachusetts cards to culture. We're only okay. focusing on the ones that I showed you. So let okay. let's stay stay with it. Stay with the assignment. Stay focused. Okay, tell us which day <laughs> and time this week is available that you'd like to go. Yes, yes, four four p.m. Which day? Uh, Saturday. Saturday, 4 p.m. Okay, that's available. And it says they're very strict with capacity. It says 24 tickets remaining. All right. Okay. So, which one would you like to do? Uh, adult, A A B T E B T. Okay, adult or child? Adult. Okay, two. so one adult, two adults. Okay, two E B T adults. And the same thing, add to your order. Okay, so that's ten dollars, and uh, it's a lot okay. cheaper than full price. It's yes. not bad. So getting in okay. for five dollars per person is better than whatever full price is. I forgot what's full price. Yeah, twenty five, twenty five dollar. I pay. Yeah, the last right. Time. There you go. There you go. Okay. And then same thing. You continue to your order, and it says, "I am a Massachusetts resident. I have a Mass EBT, PEBT, or WIC card, and enter your name, and that's it." Perfect. Sound, sure. Thank sound, you. sound like fun? You're welcome. Okay, now, who are you lost, wandering souls with no library card? I saw, I heard two or three people say they didn't have a library card. I don't have it. Get a library card. You've been with us since level one, Cleo Man. How come you don't have a library card yet? Come on. It's a great resource. Well, you live in Mattapan. Well, All right. Cleo Man, I'm going to find your local library right now. All right. You might, you know what, so, uh, there was a level member of level six who uh, never did, never came to class, never did any work, but he lived in the library. He was basically homeless. Uh, you might see him if you go to the, the library, local. He, yeah. which, he basically hard, lived in the Mattapan right. library. Without the Mattapan yes, library, this man would be dead. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll try for it. There we go. There we go. So this is your local library. Yeah. You find this. Yep. You know where this is? Yes, I know. Beautiful. So you just walk in and you give them, you tell them you need a library card, show your, uh, show your ID and your proof of address and that's it. Okay, Piece of that, mail. that's why. That's it. That's all you got to do. Or you can do it. Yeah. So you take the whole family. It's it's hot out there. The library is air conditioned. Yeah. So let's let's say uh, I was going to use the Quincy Library uh, as an example, but let's use. Anybody else live in Mattapan with Cleo Main? Let's use his uh, 
local library. So we see all of the, let's look at this website. We see visit, hours, location, tours, all of these things, books and more. All these different things you can do, services. Uh, here we have English for speakers of other languages. They have classes meeting at the library. Adult ed and certification, job and career success, all kinds of great stuff at your local library. Stuff that we do at El Centro that you can do there. And take a look right down here, Cleo Maine. What am I circling right here? It's a little small, who can read this? Museum passes. You got it, you got it. I think that was Jorge, right? Yes. Very good, so let's click on museum passes. All right, there we go. Take a look at this. Leo Maine, once you get your library card, you can go to all these places. Look at this, Children's Museum. Oh. Oh, okay. Museum of Fine Arts, Museum of Science, the Aquarium. USS Constitution, that big ship in Charlestown. Uh, you could do the Har uh, the Boston Harbor Cruise. You could do the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. You could do all of these things. You could go to the zoo. Take the uh, how many kids do you have, Cleo Man? I have four. Okay, so get them out of the house. Take them to take them somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Now, if once you get your library card. Mm -hmm. How do you make a reservation to one of these places? On Sunday. Let's figure it out. It says reserve a pass. Let's see where this is going to keep us. Aha, there it is. Take a look. Today, this is today. You can still get a pass to this one's booked. This one's booked. Somebody took that one. Somebody took that one. You could still get a free Children's Museum Pass today. Uh, what about tomorrow? There's tomorrow. All right. Which one, where would you like to go, Theo Maine? Children's Museum? Yeah. Uh, many places, Harvard Museums of Science and Culture. Tell us where you want to go. Cleo Maine. Mm. I'm going to church. The, you, did you say church? Yes. Okay, well, that's, my, not the my that, that's, not, my, my that, that's not the assignment. That's not the assignment. Let's, with, let's, with let's my family. Okay, well, that, that's not the assignment. Stick to the museum passes, okay? Let's, let's try the children's museum. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And then you can go to church after that. Okay. But let's stick to the assignment. Here we go. <laughs> nah. here, here we go. Here we go. So let's go to Mattapan Library, request a pass. See how this has a different libraries. There's JP Hyde Park. You want Mattapan, okay. request pass. What does it say up here? This is very important. Who could tell me what it says up here? Okay, Cleo Main, what you got to yeah. do right there? I'm asking you a question. Who could tell me what it says right there? For reservation? Yes, what does it say? Mm. Who has got a library card? Tell me what that means. I don't have a library card, teacher. I know you don't, but some people in the class do. Somebody with a library card, help them out. Okay. Cleo Man, he's got four kids. They got to go to the children's museum. Who can help him out? No. Anybody going to help him out? Somebody pull out their library card.
Silvana, do you have a library card? No, teacher, I don't have. Okay, so we gotta, you, that's another, and, you gotta get your library honest, card today. And mm -hmm. for be honest, I don't know if, if take a, a new library card because the next month I will, I will move to Florida, it it, so. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I need somebody with oh. a library card to tell me what okay. this means. Sorry? Jorge, I need somebody with a library card to tell me they understand what this means. Jorge, do you have a library uh, card? Oh, also, I don't have any. Okay, everybody's in big trouble. Get a library card My today. Name, I'm <laughs> on. No, no, I have a library card. <laughs> All right, I need somebody with a library card. Natalia, I know you got a library card. Yes? Natalia, yes, you have a library card? Natalia has. Okay, Natalia, can you tell us what that means right there? This. Call the card. I have the card. Oh. For yes. To make a play. Beautiful. The library. Okay. Exactly. Now hold up the library card, please, and turn it around for everybody to see. Okay. Oh, hold your library card to the camera. Uh oh, to the camera, to the camera. Your phone is, you turn your phone around. We're looking at your ceiling. <laughs> Bring your camera back to the library card, Natalia. Hold it to the camera, like like this. There you go. Well, we couldn't really is see it clearly. Now? Okay, now turn turn the card around, please. Turn the card around. Okay, yeah. okay. Does everybody see what's on there? Now move it a little to the, to the left, or you just turned your camera off. All right. It's like when you go to the sh go shopping to the market. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's called barcode. exactly. All right. That's called a barcode. It's a long yeah. strip of numbers, right. like a credit card number. And once you get your library card, you can put your barcode in here, and then into your number, and then you can go anywhere you want in the city for free. Does that sound like fun? Okay, everybody, I hear total silence. That means uh, let's hear it. let's end class right here. Everybody go get a library card and have fun with this assignment. I know it's gonna take a while. I know it is difficult to look at all these different websites, but it's gonna make your life so much better and you're gonna save so much money, okay? That's it for today. I will see you to, I will see you next week and tomorrow okay. Ashley will give you a new assignment. Everybody get a library card now. Run to the library and get a library card. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if your house is on fire. Just go to the library now. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Have a bye good bye. day. Thank you, you too. Bye bye.